Hi Scorpio, this is Whispers and this will be your reading for the month of October 2023. The deck that I'm using is the Rider Waite deck by Pamela Coleman Smith and Arthur Waite. And what I've done is I pulled one card for each week of the month of October 2023. So let's see what the energies are for you. And in that first week, it does talk about you having to be very wary of legal issues, okay? Not getting involved with illegal activities in your life. Maybe someone in your circle of energy, Scorpio, is trying to talk you into doing something that's illegal. And indeed, if I were you, I'd be pulling away from those energies because it's not going to make you look good. And indeed, it's going to create a lot of havoc in your environment and in your life. Now, it does talk about inequality in a relationship. So there might be someone, maybe you're in a relationship with someone who is trying to force you um, to get involved in illegal illegal activities or get involved in something that you disagree with. And so what it's talking about is pull away from those energies as quickly as you can and as far as you can. So let's move into that um, second week. And in that second week, this is a negative energy that's coming in here and it's an individual that's coming in and normally this would be someone who's very practical and very realistic okay but their energies are now very narrowly focused and they're insisting on trivial details they're being very picky and very rigid in their attitudes okay now it might be someone that you knew from the past it might be a relationship that you were involved in from the past it might be an ex and, you know, it even talks about the fact that you're not able to um, make a decision because of this individual. This individual is kind of stopping you from uh, being involved in a circumstance completely, okay? They're, they're kind of like, they're not letting you make decisions that you need to make at this point in time. So it does talk about you needing to focus more on the details in whatever's taking place in your life. Like if you're applying for a job and you have a resume, maybe you need to look at the fine details, read between the lines, like in, in an application, make sure that you're reading between the lines, that you know exactly what you're getting into. Now, at the first part of this month, it was talking about someone wanting to get you involved in legal activities. That so this might be someone wanting you to get involved in legal activities online. So be aware of that and pull away from those energies. It talks about you feeling a sense of frustration or desperation in your desire to make a move or to get away from something. Maybe you want to move to a new country or maybe you want to move to the country. Now, if you are dealing with any type of paperwork or applications, make sure that you're on the legal side of that, okay? Make sure that you're doing everything by the book and you're not, you know, kind of um, hiding in that shady area, okay? If you're wanting to immigrate to a new country, let's say, make sure that your paperwork is done properly and appropriately and under the guise of the law. Now, it also talks about problems with a vehicle or transportation of some sort. And this is where I see it running into problems, where there may be obstacles to the development of something that you want to get involved in or you want to uh, move forward in. And that could very well be an immigration of sorts. Now, there may be a mutual attraction that you're having with someone that you're involved with maybe fi um, financially, maybe it's someone that you are dependent on and you're attracted to that person or you feel a sense of connection to that person so you're agreeing with what they want you to do and it's not on the right side of the law. But you have this connection to them emotionally and so you're kind of like siding with them even though you disagree with what it is that they're wanting you to get involved in. Now. It might be someone, perhaps even yourself, maybe you're trying to prove yourself in some way to this person, or maybe you're trying to prove yourself in the outside world and you're needing the help of this individual financially. But it, all, it talks about you looking for acknowledgement from this individual. And this would be an earth sign individual. So that would be a Taurus, a Leo, a, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. And maybe you are, you know, maybe it's a parental figure, maybe it's a partner, maybe it's uh, someone you do business with, maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's uh, the other part of that romance, okay? Maybe it's someone that you want to have a relationship with, and so you're trying to prove to them that you have what it takes. It even talks about possibly this being in your 
personality traits where you're always looking for that acknowledgement. You're always looking for someone to kind of give you accolades or to prove your worth, okay, or your competence. You want someone to tell you that you got it going on, that you did what you needed to do, that you were, you know, you did well. You're always looking for those positive accolades. And perhaps that stems from maybe a childhood where you didn't receive those accolades as you were growing up. So this might have a very emotional or psychological bent to it. Okay. Now, there is someone in your life who's very rigid and very insistent, and that could be a parental figure. And maybe you're dealing with um, emotional or psychological issues from the past that stem from the fact that an authority figure in your life was very insistent on those trivial details, and they were very rigid and very strict, okay? Maybe you're looking for work somewhere else. You're, you're wanting to relocate. You're wanting to get away from those rigid attitudes or those rigid ideals. And you're wanting to traverse at a distance. And maybe you're wanting to get involved in a new project or a new job. But there are obstacles for you to get involved in this job or this work field, okay? Maybe you need an upgrade. Maybe you don't have the education that you need. And this is kind of... This is kind of throwing me back on that thing where it says stay on the right side of the law so don't um, don't say you have a, a credential if you don't have it or don't embellish on the experience or the knowledge or the certification that you have if it's not true okay if you need to upgrade upgrade take that course and prove yourself in the, in a positive way okay do the work now it does talk about focusing on the details in uh, an application so indeed it looks like you're moving forward but I'm warning you I'm warning you if someone is encouraging you to go against the letter of the law or to lie on an application don't do it don't do it because it's certainly not going to look good on you when it gets found out and it will it will it will get found out a lot of the times you know you think you think you got it made you think you've kind of like skirted the issue and you get found out so be very very careful and aware of those energies so let's move into that third week in that third week you are concerned about your security okay you're needing to get more organized be more practical and make plans there may even be a lack of privacy or perhaps materially poor conditions at home or that are on your mind and they're going to create problems for you maybe you need to take a course maybe you need to get involved in a new course of study but you don't have the funds for it and maybe that's why you're kind of thinking well I could kind of say I had it and then take it later, but you can't. You can't. And don't do it, okay? Now, it also talks about having a fear of losing uh, some of the resources that you've been counting on. Maybe you haven't been saving your money, Scorpio. Maybe you've been like a spendthrift and you've been spending it left and right. And indeed, it does talk about needing to take care of your personal things, your personal belongings. Maybe you've been selling them, selling them off so that you could survive. And maybe you need those resources at this point in time. Now, it does talk about you needing those extra finances, possibly due to maybe you have a car and maybe the car broke down or maybe you're living in a place where you're having plumbing problems and you're having to take care of those issues and you don't have the extra funds that you need. So let's see what happens in that fourth week. So, you know, it's kind of heading downhill. So be aware of these needs, especially if you're watching these videos early. Now, I post these videos early, and I'm posting this video in um, September for October. So if you're seeing this video and you're seeing it early, know that the spirits want you to see it early so that you will have a heads up so you'll know what you can do so you can uh, possibly save up what it is or the resources that you need to help you in case this does happen in the month of October. Last week, here we go, in that last week. <laughs> I don't know who this person is, but you need to get rid of them. You need to get rid of them because this person is very class conscious. They're very class conscious and they're very ethnic and uh, financially sound 
but they believe that anyone who isn't on their level is no good, that they're trash. And this person is very detached. They don't have any empathy at all or sympathy for other people. They don't have any empathy for what it, what it is that you're going through. So if you're reaching out to this person, they're not going to help you. They're not going to help you. I hate to tell you this, but you're on your own in this relationship. This person is very cold uh, and calculating and very logical, okay? They're, they're, not, they're not empathetic. This would stand for someone who is um, maybe a legal authority who looks at the facts. So this is someone, maybe you owe money or maybe you um, don't have money to pay for your insurance on your car and you don't have the funds to take care of that. And so maybe you're kind of like trying to hide that fact. And this person, maybe you got stopped by the police and you handed over your insurance and it said it needed to be renewed. And this person is thinking, okay, the facts are the facts. I could feel sorry for you. I, you know, it could be uh, a police officer says to you, well, you know, Maybe you're just running to the bank to make the payment for your insurance that may be bounced and you're going to just pay for it. And you run into a police officer at that point in time and they're saying, okay, well, I don't know. Should I give you a chance? Should I wait? Uh, like, should this just be a warning? And maybe they're not really in that frame of mind. Maybe they are not someone that has that sense of empathy or sympathy and indeed you're going to get a fine. So that's what I'm saying is be very, very careful that you're dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's at the end of October 2023, okay? Now this person, whether it be a legal authority, a lawyer, a judge, a cop, whatever it may be, okay, realize that <laughs> they're not looking at it with those empathetic eyes. They're looking at it logically, okay? And they're thinking, well, you should have taken care of this when you had the opportunity. And now it's time to pay the piper. So what can I say, Scorpio? What can I say? I, I hate to say this, but hopefully you're watching this video early and hopefully you're going to take care of what needs to get taken care of now. Uh, before you run into those problems now this could be this could be someone in your life who you care about it doesn't necessarily have to be you it could be someone you care about who has missed a payment or someone who is very class conscious and thinks that if you don't make uh, what they're making that you're lower than them so it doesn't necessarily have to be a legal authority it could be um, you know a group of people an agency an organization a, a partner um, someone who is very class conscious. So be aware of that and prepare for that. And you know, none of the Scorpios I know are, are like that. They don't think that they are at a higher level than anyone else. Okay. So, um, indeed it is an outside influence that's coming in here. So I shall see you in the month of November and make sure that you keep your head held high. So I shall see you in November. Namaste my friends. Bye.